Hi everybody and welcome to Starting Out Solitary. It is Monday. I'm your host Terry and this week we are talking about ETs and cosmic influences for our particular path. Right. I think this is one of those topics that can be um, that can really polarize people, you know? So, um, I will, I will go out on a limb and say that as far as, um, ETs go, that, uh, you know, extraterrestrial type creatures, yes, I absolutely believe that, um, that they are out there. I think that, and, and uh, this is of course my personal opinion, as is everything that comes out my face, um, I think that that it would be very small-minded of us to think that that we are the only creatures, beings, life forms out in this giant universe. I mean, the universe is huge. Space is huge. How can we be the only the only creatures the only beings to develop and um, decide to venture forth from our small piece of rock floating through space. You know? Um, cosmic influences. I'm thinking, now I'm, I'm sure everybody will have their own input on this. I'm thinking um, this would more... This would more... Um, have a meaning or I'm taking it to mean you know how how we we um, observe the cycles of the other bodies in the cosmos you know our sun our moon um, you know when mercury and saturn or whatever I don't even know if saturn does it because I I read the names I don't always lock it in um, you know, when the planets go in rent retrograde, if, um, you know, when planets are in a particular sign, that sort of thing, I don't, I don't pay attention and yet I do. So I usually pay attention when, you know, Mercury's going into retrograde, mostly because everybody makes such a big stink out of it. Um, and... You know, as we've as we've covered on another day, I do I do pay attention to um, to the moon and the sun. They 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 are the things that I see most clearly in the sky. So, okay. Um, I think for me, I'm going to concentrate my opinions basically for this for this uh, video on. On the ET part of the spectrum, on the the things that people, um, like I said, can be very polarized about. That being, you know, are there extraterrestrials? Are there extraterrestrials here? Or could they be coming to establish contact with us for good or for bad? Whatever. Um, have they been here before and influenced the... Um, the progress of mankind and how we have in turn developed over millennia. I actually, um, I read a couple of books on this and, you know, I think, I think that, you know, when you, when you watch, you know, maybe some of the documentaries, which were always skewed, I think for the most part towards, um, the, the producers, or if it's a book, towards the author's views and you know that's why that's why we read them we gravitate towards books that might reinforce our views but i think that i think that when you read some of these books watch some of these shows i think for 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 me anyways if you all watch them with an open mind you know they are they are they present the facts in just just a, enough of a way to make you go, hmm, 
you know, I can see that. I can see that as being possible. Um, I've watched the things and I've read a book, one book, maybe two, I can't remember, on Atlantis and Lemuria and beings coming from um, other star systems and that sort of thing. And I will say that, yeah, you know, they they did make me go, hmm, you know, that's that's another way that's another way to look at this. And um, the scientific part of my brain screams at me and says, you want proof, you want proof. And uh, the other part says, go with it. If it happens, it happens. If not, then what's what's the harm in using your imagination, having an open mind and going, yeah, you know, I think that's possible. Anyway, this is this is a completely rambly, ziggity zaggity thing. So, um, do I believe in ETs? Yeah, I'd say I do. I I think, like I said, I think it's I think it's small minded of us uh, to think that we could possibly be the only the only beings in the cosmos, um, and. As to how they influence my path, I think I would have to do a little more research um, into that in particular. Um, and for the for the you know the planetary movement through astrological signs, which I I really I I have I really don't know much about at all. Um, and for the planets going in retrograde again, really the only the only ones that I really truly know about are are like Mercury. So, not a lot of help, but um, there it is. There's my there's my my two cents for for this week. Um, um, if I can remember the name of the book, just in case just in case you want to do it a little a little reading of your own. I think the author of the book on Atlantis and Lemuria, um, she may have written actually a few books. I think the author's name is Shirley Andrews. And I said that like it had a question mark on the end, but you get it. Shirley Andrews. I'm, I'm almost positive that's her name. Um, pretty easy read and there was lots of stuff in it that you make you go yeah okay i can i can kind of follow along with that i'll i'll jump on board and then there was another book oh i wish i had it within arm's reach and um and that book i think actually i may have done a review of it over on on my channel so maybe check there um and that covered more how how our how the human race may have been um may have been helped along by other races in in the cosmos and um and where where the human race could be going in the future actually i, I might read both of those again because i I, I I forget quite a lot, but um, yeah, they were they were pretty good. So anyway, um, I don't know what else to say on this subject. So I'm going to sign off and go get my laundry and hang it up. So um, you guys have a really really awesome week, and um, if you're here in the northern hemisphere, I hope you have springtime soon, because Lord knows I could use it. Um, be safe, be well, many blessings to you all. Bye.